if you can give me 30 minutes of your time this night, I'm going to hand over to you an, a powerful information that is responsible for producing amazing results in the life of people financially, in their business, in their personal life, in their growth system. I won't just be giving you that information. I'll be showing you how you can replicate it for yourself and get massive results from now in the next 30, 60, 120, six months, one year. This night, I want to officially welcome you to the Wealth Creation Series. My name is Joshua Mba, and I'm super excited to have you this night. And this night, we'll be discussing an amazing topic titled, How to Unlock Big Results um, Through Mentorship. How to Unlock Big Results Through Mentorship. And in the, case, in the course of this night section, we'll be talking about four major areas. These four major areas include your finances, your personal life, your growth system, and your marriage. Probably I'm not qualified to talk about marriage because I'm, as at the time of this live stream, I'm still single, right? But we'll just give context to some of these things. But basically, we're going to talk about how this mentorship will influence your life, how you can command amazing results, powerful results, scale your finances, scale your personal development, scale your growth system in every area of your life, we're going to do that this night. But before we do that, I would like to welcome you. I would like to know where you are watching this video from. Wherever you are across the world, type in the comment section. Let me know the state and country you are watching. If you are from Lagos, Nigeria, let me know in the comment section. If you are from Tanzania, if you are from Europe, if you are from London, sorry, London, UK, United States of America, Germany, wherever you are watching this video right now across the universe, I want you to comment in the comment section. We would like to know where you are streaming this video this night. Now, for those who are watching us for the very first time, welcome. And if you're watching the replay, I want you to pay close attention to this series. It's, it's been powerful. For the past years, we've been on a journey of bringing the gospel, in quote, the context, the truth of um, how young people, elderly people, children, old and young can execute greatly in their life, utilizing some of the informations we share here by different people, uh, starting from Mr. Chris Ani and a host of other amazing speakers who have spoken through um, the Wealth Creation Series. And we, the mandate is to help you use this information to create transgenerational wealth for yourself and for your family. And the goal of this mandate is massive and welcome, and we are super excited to have you um, this night. And we're going to get started just immediately. And while we get started, I would like you to remove every form of distraction. If you are watching a television, whatever you are doing, I want you to turn it off. If you are playing music at the background, turn it off. Get your headset ready. Plug it in straight to your ear. Get your notepad. What we're about to share this night is powerful. This information is so powerful that I know that if you take action after watching this live stream this night, you start seeing massive, massive results. It's a Sunday night here in Lagos. And we're inspired today to have you. First of all, we're going to talk about how mentorship can transform your life and help you unlock unlimited results. Results that you never would imagine in your life. It, 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 it comes to a point in a man's life where you begin to journey and you meet a roadblock. And there are some roadblocks that you can't scale above or you can't walk across if you've not understood the ministry of mentorship. What I'm about to share with you this night is so delicate that it was even crafted and embedded in the organogram of creation. That means that when God himself created the universe and developed and put in place check and balances what we call the principle of life, he also, in that context, established jurisdiction around growth system, established jurisdiction around results. And all through time and season and through history, you will discover that mentorship has played a major role in producing world-renowned leaders, experts in different fields, experts in different organizations, experts in different walks of life. Mentorship have produced one of the most powerful economic systems we have in the world. And if this principle is true and has worked both in time and off time, in quote, I mean, we are saying in time, we are not in eternity. But if it, has, if it has worked all through this time, then it means that 
you too need to tap into this economy of the ministry of mentorship and begin to unlock powerful results for yourself. Um, I won't fail to mention a story that happened some time ago um, when I was still in school. I remember a long time ago, I mean, <laughs> when I was still in school. I was, I was, I was opportune to serve in my fellowship. At the time, I was a knife fisherman in my campus fellowship. That's the Nigerian Fellowship of Evangelical Students. And I think my second year, I, I took the office of um, uh, the Bible study secretary. And when the, when the assignment came at the time, I knew, though I had, I mean, I'm a Christian, and I had a background, and I mean, I, I go to church, I, I study the scripture, I have a relationship with God. And at the time, I knew that the burden and the weight of, imagine your job description, um, in this context, not like job description in <laughs> business world, right? But my job description basically was, we are going to prepare the Bible study outline for the entire fellowship, for the whole section. So every Wednesday was Bible study. Every Wednesday was Bible study. You have to prepare it. And sometimes you have to prepare ahead and submit and for review and all of those stuff. So, I mean, for me, it was a big burden. And I was like, I've never done this before. This is, I entered high institution at a very young age. So I was like, how will I even do this? There are people ahead of me, final year. How will I be able to create Bible study online that will help these kind of people? And it was a basic roadblock for me. It was a function, I mean, a very serious roadblock for me. And I remember the time, every single week, I would load up the church card and I would call my dad back there. I would call my dad and say, Dad, I want to learn something like this. Can, can you, like, speak to me? I would just ask him, like, two, three questions. And amazingly, I had one of, I have a, an amazing father who has been not just a father, but a mentor. I'm sure he'll be watching this video sometime. And uh, probably his life also, amazing father. And he would always stay on the call with me and he would teach me. So for example, I won't forget this case. I'm giving you this as a context because it's going to help us move straight into one of the things I'm going to share with you. He, he, I would call him and I would be like, for example, that tell me about the, the tabernacle. And he would begin to teach me, teach me. He would pick this, he would pick this, he would teach. I would learn, I would write down, I will go back and study and expand his teaching. And I discovered that the more I was doing that, the more I was gaining more powerful insight into the scripture. It was consistent for me. I always call him, Dad, when are, you, when are you free? Let me call you, let me call you, let me call you. I mean, he was already doing that when I was in the home, when I was back, far back at home. But because of my dispositioning as a leader now on campus, I couldn't have executed rightly at the time without submitting to someone who was above me who would guide me. And that brings us into the context of today. I will talk about my dad shortly and what mentorship has done for me and other mentors I have. We'll talk about it. But let's establish, first of all, what mentorship is. I, I want you to write it down in your book. What is mentorship? Because I feel the word mentorship probably has been abused in our time where everybody's like, who is your mentor? Let me mentor you. Let me mentor you. Who is mentoring you? You know, the word probably, we've used this so much and probably have commonized it that it really doesn't have weight. But first of all, let's do a basic study. I, I love going back to basic truths, functional truths, and foundational truths of mysteries and words. You know, when we understand how these things operate, we'll be able to apply it appropriately and then get the right results. Are you following me? If you're following in this live stream, type a fire emoji in the comment section. Load up a lot of fire emoji. I want to see the fire emoji in the comment section. Please do. Even if you're watching the playback, load up fire emoji in the comment section and type the word mentorship. Type. I'm going to give you guys time to type the word mentorship. Now, a, a mentor, I, I checked in the Greek, the Greek chronicles and the Greek explanation to mentorship. I also checked the Latin, but I'm not going to give you all of those details. Probably you could do the, the research after, after this live stream, but we're just going to give you um, some of the things I picked up that are very sensitive for our study this night. And number one is mentorship is an advisor. A mentor is an advisor. Um, I mean, the Greek or, or the nation of, of the word mentorship, uh, when I began to, you know, learn emphasis to study more on this word as, as it pertains to the Greek um, history, and I began to see that the word mentorship m m actually meant someone who would basically like sit down back, sit back and think, and after thinking would advise. And when I, I was reading through, and I discovered that this is not just an assignment for everybody. Everybody can't just be a mentor. There are people that they just sit 
and they think and then they advise. They sit, they think, and they advise. So he has a way he played through the historical part line of the Greek, which is not what I'm going to show you this night, however. But in the Latin explanation, I picked out three words. He said, a mentor is an overseer, a mentor is a guide, and a mentor is a teacher. So we have picked four things from the Latin, an advisor, from the, from, from the Greek, an advisor, from the Latin, an overseer, a guide, and a teacher. So a mentor is, a, is an overseer who oversees you. In this context, we are talking about interpersonal mentorship. We are talking about one-on-one -on -one mentorship. So a mentor who oversees you, who advises you, who teaches you, and who guides you. That's a mentor. Write it down. These four things are very important. Someone who oversees the affairs you execute. You know, I'm going to say this. Um, and people, I'm so sure some persons will be surprised. I shared it the other day. Um, up, when I started up my journey as an internet marketer, entrepreneur, right? I prefer using the word internet entrepreneur. I feel like I'm not just a marketer, right? Yeah, so but when I started my journey, actually, I, I, remember doing a, I remember doing a lot of webinars at that time. I was still, I'm still doing a lot of webinars now. But at the time, when I started out newly, the few persons I had on my webinar were my family members. In fact, the first webinar I did, I won't forget it, I did everything on social media, I did the flyer, shared the link, I did everything, everything possible you could think of, all of the ways you can think of right now that people need, use to promote their webinar. That was my very first webinar. And I came live, I, was it on Facebook or YouTube again? I can't even remember. I had two persons that joined the live stream, just two persons. The first person was not consistent. The first person would just come in and go, I feel like the person's network was bad. I still know the person. But the other person was my elder sister. I'm sure if she's watching this video, she, she must have forgotten. She was in the live stream. <laughs> she was the only person I saw in the live stream. That's a story to talk about for another day, right? But all through that time till now, I honestly still have people who come to my live stream. I have this category of people I'm going to talk about shortly who come to my live stream, but they're not just coming to learn. They're actually coming to be sure that Joshua is still in check. That Joshua is still within the confines of things he should be doing. I, one day I was telling, sharing that day, I, I made a post on Facebook one time. I, I went, at some point in my life, I went deep into um, mind control, um, psychology, all of those stuff, persuasion, you know. I went deep into those, those concepts. And I, one day I made a post on Facebook. I, I felt it was just a casual post, you know. I was learning something, I was making a post. I just made a post and posted on Facebook. And it wasn't more than five minutes, my dad called me. I said, Joshua, pull down the post on Facebook. I put it down. It's up. Now, over time, what these people have done for me is that they oversee what I do. They guide me. There are days, they'll come inside the room and say, okay, sit down. I'll lecture you. They'll tell you, okay, this is what you are doing. Don't do it. These are four qualities that qualify a person to be called a mentor. I'm teaching you this because when we say he's my mentor, he's not my mentor, this guy is my mentor, does he have these four qualities? And I'll tell you why you need to check these things because when you have someone in your life that you call a mentor who doesn't have an influence in your life in these four areas, who doesn't oversee what you're doing and see, okay, you've done this thing before, shouldn't do it, this thing is going to lead you to a bad way, don't do it. Who doesn't teach you, who doesn't guide you and who doesn't advise you? then it's questionable. But these four characteristics are consistent with people that you should call your mentor. Now, now that we have established the ordination of mentor, I'm going to raise two points about mentors, what they actually do. And I'll tell you how to get a mentor. I'll tell you how to submit to a mentor. And I'll tell you how to get the results that your mentors have and even way beyond what they have. I'll show you that in this live stream. So I want you to stay to the end of this live stream. But before we continue, once we come back, I'm going to share with you two powerful truths about mentorship that will open your eyes to some things you never knew. This I'm about to share with you. The day I learned it, everything about mentorship and something to mentorship changed for me and I began to see greater results. But we'll come back after this short break. When we are back, we'll get on it. See you after this short break. You have a laptop. 
You have a phone, but you're not making money on the internet. It is wrong. If you're not making money on the internet and you're not making money while you're watching this, I want to show you a platform that teaches you how to make money. Every Sunday, I teach people how to create wealth on the internet. I teach people how they can start making raw cash, physical money, how they can make money on the internet, how they can even become financially free. Self-esteem. And there are people who have achieved more success than you and all for free. I do this every Sunday, 8 p.m. West African time, live on Daba TV YouTube channel. What should you do right now? Click the link, subscribe to Daba TV YouTube channel, turn on notifications, and on Sunday, you will see me teach different things, laws of money, wealth creation, financial freedom, and, and things that will even inspire you to become successful. I want to see you this Sunday by 8 p.m. Chris Anne right here. God bless you. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I'm super excited that this night is going to be super amazing because I've been able to lay foundation in what mentorship is and now we're going to get into the major part of this live stream this night. This is the World Creation Series. And if you're learning something, I want you to type in the comment section, mentorship with a fire emoji. In the comment section, let's do it together. I'm, I'm going to see your comments. Type mentorship with a fire emoji. Feel the comment section. And just in case you've not liked this video, I would like you to like this video. I will encourage you to like this video because liking this video will make a lot of persons come across it and also learn some of the things we are sharing this night. And of course, do wait to subscribe to this YouTube channel because you get to see more of this kind of video subsequently and you can also watch the previous ones. Now let's get into the two truths about mentors. Write it down, the two truths about mentors. This truth, when I talk about truth, people have asked me this question, why do you always use the word truth? Truth are things that are undeniable. Facts can change, but truths don't change. And most times, truths are linked to some of the things that was crafted and embedded in the ordination of human existence. There is no time to show you that. There's no time to show you that. I'm gonna show you that shortly. Okay, I'm going to show you that shortly. All right, so the number one truth, if you're ready, say I'm ready. The number one truth is that mentors are gatekeepers by ordination. Write it down. Mentors are gatekeeper by ordination. Mentors are gatekeepers by ordination. Now, we're going to establish this truth quickly. Who are mentors? And how are they gatekeepers? Let's take a basic example. Think of a big empire, a big estate that has a big gate. And inside, this is one layer. And outside it again, there's another big gate that takes you into this other gate. And it's another big fence. And there are about three gates you have to pass to get into the main estate or into the main mansion. You have to pass gate one, pass gate two, and pass gate three. And let's say that what is inside the mansion is wealth. So for you to pass, to get to wealth, you have to cross first gate, second gate, and third gate. The honest truth is that for any time you get to a gate, you will need the gate man to open the gate. You need people at the gate to open the gate. So that means if I get to the first gate and there is no gatekeeper, there is no gate man in this context, I won't be able to access the gate because probably I don't have the password, I don't know how to open the gate, or maybe it's locked from behind. So you need a gate man to open up the gate for you. All right? Good. Now, what mentors are, are their gatekeepers. For everything in life, know this, know this, this truth I'm about to share with you will change your perception about mentorship. For every stage in life, there are people who are gatekeepers there. You see one of them in the politics, they are gatekeepers there. One of them play in the spiritual aspect, let's talk about the prophetic, they are gatekeepers there. They are people who have journeyed so far in that dimension that have become leaders and testaments in those dimensions. So let's say, for example, you want to talk about manufacturing industry in Nigeria. They are gatekeepers there. They are people who, by the virtue of their hard work and their results, have become gatekeepers. That means that they, they, you can't get to their height unless they give you access. They, you don't need to argue some of these things. You don't even need to deliberate on it because that's the truth. 
There are levels in life you can't assess unless someone at that level gives you access to. You don't, even if you want to pray from now to tomorrow, a man must be a vessel to give you access to that dimension. So think of the, the, the place you want to get to in life and see it as a strata in the organogram of existence. So let's get, let me give you an example. You want to earn a millionaire. And for you to earn a millionaire, you must have an information that will make you a millionaire. You want to become a millionaire, you must have an information that will make you a millionaire. And that information is with someone who has already become a millionaire. So I could tell you that millionaires are already gatekeepers of the millionaire cadre. You can't stumble to become wealthy. You don't wake up and stumble it. There must be an information that you must have journeyed with that gave you access to that. And whoever must have given you that information is someone who tapped into an economy owned by or, 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 or redicted or, or manned by people who have that result. So when we talk about mentorship, we're talking about people who have a result you don't have. And for you to assess that dimension of reality, you need to submit to them for them to give you access. Uh, time will fail me to show you, time will fail me to show you um, this mystery because it is, it is, it is the way God himself crafted this ordination and embedded it into human existence, you see that you can't live without it. So mentors are gatekeepers. So think of the place you want to be in the next six months. There's someone already there and he's a gatekeeper. If he has the result and he has produced the result, and he has a track record of the result, and he has stayed on the result, then he's a gatekeeper. It's just for example, we want to talk about people that build um, uh, businesses. I mean, time will fail me, actually. Time will fail us. I don't want to keep you this night for long and keep you till 12 p.m., right? But I want to take this back on this point that mentors are gatekeepers, and there are places and dimensions of possibilities there is something you can't touch until you submit to people who have touched there. You can't wake up and become the president of Nigeria. No. You can't wake up and become the president of the United States of America. You can't stumble on it. You must have mingled with people in the corridor of power for you to be established in the place of power. You don't wake up and become great. You must have mingled with great men. No, there is no person recorded in history and in time as far as time is still running, that ever emerged as a great person that did not submit or played or mingle with people in the corridor of that cadre, nowhere. So you must understand that for some dimensions of possibility, whether it's in your finances, in your personal development in your life, or in your growth system, even in your marriage. I'm not married, <laughs> but I'm going to talk about that. And you need to submit to people who have built excellent marriage. That's why for some denominations, for some case scenario, you see people say, um, for, for someone to wed you, the minister must have a successful marriage, must be married for, for him to wed you. So you don't see single ministers wedding people that, that, I don't know, but I think that's what they do in some places. You know, based on, these are people who have journeyed through this corridor. They understand marriage, so they are, they are, they are qualified to ordain you into the ministry of marriage. Marriage is a ministry anyway. We'll talk about that subsequently. <laughs> I'm just saying anyway. But, but that's, you get the point. The point is mentors are gatekeepers. I, I think we've gotten that. Now, number two is mentors provide shield and protection. Now, I'm going to share this and I will give you live examples as I shared some of these points. Mentors are provide protectors and shield. There are things that would have happened to you if there was, if, a mentor did not shift your attention. Now, I, I will tell you how to get a mentor very soon. I'll be teaching you how to get a mentor and how to hack into the possibilities of your mentor and get results and get their kind of results. But a mentor is a protector. He protects you from harm. He protects you from making mistakes that he has made. He protects you from repeating the mistakes you've repeated. He protects you from falling victim of circumstances that would destroy and terminate you from the ordination that you were crafted to establish on earth. That's what a mentor does. So should, you, should I submit to a mentor? Should I have a mentor? Yes, of course you need to. And I'm going to be answering a lot of questions around this. So we have two truths. Mentors are gatekeepers. Number two, mentors provide shield and protection because they create, they help you 
navigate through the patterns of in this, through um, the junctions of indecision and put you in the right pathway that will walk you straight up to where you need to be. And I'm going to say this point before we begin to continue. I'm going to tell you things, two things. Two things that you must know before you pick a mentor. Two things that you must see in a mentor before you pick him and say, okay, I want to submit to this person. Uh, and before we go through that window, I, I would like to show you some, tell you something anywhere that um, in the ministry of mentorship, um, in, in the ministry of mentorship, yeah, there's this truth we need to know also that, that mentors are not obligated to your life in terms of, wait, hold on. The assignment is not to, wake up every day and they'll call you, have you woken up, have you eaten, where are you now? They are not like, I don't know the word to use, but their job is not to be, to monitor your life. Or have you eaten, have you gone to school, what are you doing now? They are not accountability partners, that's the word I'm looking for. They are not people that are keeping check. You can have friends that can help you keep accountable to some of the things you want to do, you know, have those your peers. Most times, your mentors are people ahead of you, so they don't even have the time to come down and start checking, okay, you've woken up. They could create a system to help you do that, they could create a system to help you have a protocol to work in when it comes to your personal life. All right, we're going to talk about that shortly, but I want you to have this at the back of your mind because some people feel that the job of a mentor is to call you, have you slept? Your mentor is not your spouse. <laughs> your mentor is not your fiancé. All right, so I want you to know that. But let's talk about two things you must know before you choose a mentor. Do you want us to talk about it now? Are you ready for this part? It's, it's getting interesting. We're about to tap into a truth that will shift you massively, to shift you. You will begin to see a lot of light in your direction that will help you to begin to walk in the path of creating wealth. The goal of this series we do here is wealth creation to help you have information that will help you create transgenerational wealth. Number one is your mentor must be someone who is ahead of you. Someone is ahead of you. Someone who has the results. So I'm quickly going to answer this question. Can I have more than one mentor? Yes, it's very possible. You might have two, three mentors who have focus on maybe two, three areas of your life. It's possible. You might have one, you might have two, but you can't have 100 mentors. How are you going to cope up? I mean, you can have countable mentors who pay attention to different parts of your life or maybe they all pay attention to the same part of your life. I'm going to use myself as an example my father is not just my biological father. He is my mentor. I say this every time. I'm also been able to submit to mentorship from people like Mr. Chris Annie, who over time through the years have become a major influence in my life. So I have more than one mentor. And these are people who pick key role in some of the things, and things I do. They oversee some of the things I do. I can tell you wholeheartedly that my dad will watch this video. I can tell you who I tell you that is going to come back and say, okay, you did this right, you did not do this, I don't say this, don't do this. He, there's check and, I, I know that there are check and balances. You know, if you're in a point in your life where there's nobody to help you create check and balances, then you are on an expressway to a lot of problems. If there's no one that will call you and say, hello, this thing you did here, I saw it, I heard about it, don't do it, do it like this. Then there is a functional problem ahead of you. Uh, you need to pause a little bit, stop, and find someone who will be doing that for you. Because you get to a stage in your life, you feel like, I figured it all out, I know it's right, I know what to do here, yeah, I can do this, I can do that, I know it already, no, I can find my way out of it. Is <laughs> a decision of someone who have not seen so far. So you need to understand that you need to, very, very important, very, very important, choose a mentor who is ahead of you. Ahead of you in life, ahead of you in resources, ahead of you in possibilities, ahead of you in vision. Number two is that your mentor must have your interest at heart and is willing to see you grow. <laughs> so when I was in school, I'm going to give you an example of this. When I was in school, I got a mentor who was supposedly going to teach me programming. This was someone that was ahead of me in programming. He was a software engineer at the time. And I, I wanted to submit to him because he had results. He was, he was also in my school at the time. He was already building big projects. And he was doing well. I was like, okay, I'm going to learn programming from this guy. And I submitted to him. I was like, bro, I do, as at, the time, at the time I started learning programming, I was still doing engineering. I was 
electrical electronics engineering student, and at some point, after at some point I discovered it wasn't for me. My results were good. I was doing distinction, but that, that wasn't my that was my stuff actually. I that wasn't it at all. I, I, I had to switch to computer science. But then I was still in engineering, and this guy was in computer science. I was like, this guy knows this stuff. I've seen, I mean, I've heard of it. I want to submit to this guy. So I met him and said, bro, I want to learn programming from you. And I want to submit to you. I want to learn. I could even assist you in doing some of the things. I'll, I'll, I mean, I'm parenting some of the things I will say later on, but I will emphasize that later on again. I, I want to just learn from you. I want you to be my teacher. I want you to advise me. I, I want you to guide me. I, I want you to guide me. I want you to teach me. I want you to oversee the things I do in this game, in this new career path I've chosen for myself to be a software engineer. And at the time, I, it was called programmers. We are all programmers, right? So I came to him and he was like, okay, cool, cool. I'm going to walk you through. He gave me some of the computer science department textbook. Uh, I remember one book on HTML stuff. I can't even remember the name of the book again, but I think it's basic introduction to HTML or something. I read the book back to back. He, he, he always like pick up products um, um, projects he's doing and, and I'll be like, okay, let me see. You know, from that to that. So at some point, and I, I was speaking on fast. I'm actually a fast learner anyway. I, I was speaking on fast. And at the point, he felt I was a noun. I became a threat to him. I was like, this boy. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it caused a lot of problem. It was like, this guy is learning fast. And I started doing a lot more projects. You know, I had actually some other contacts, amazing people I, I was connecting with. So, I had projects coming in. So, at some point, I started even, you know, recommending him for jobs. And he felt embarrassed and felt... Um, 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 this shouldn't be, I don't like this, this and that. It felt like I was going to assign him or whatever he was thinking at the time. And he said, going back to do a lot of very funny things that I don't want to talk about on the live, right? But you meet people who might be willing to teach you, but they don't have your interests at heart. They will end up hurting you. They will end up doing things that will make you feel bad. These are the kind of people you need to run from. You don't submit to them because they are already ahead of you, but you need to be sure that they have your interest at hand. One of the things my mom will always tell me, um, I mean, my mom is one of the amazing marriage counselors I know. She has already started advising me in marriage years back. She will always tell me, say, Joshua, some of the things people need to know, I mean, they said this even during family devotion, right from when we were small, is that you need to, for every part of your life, you need to know that whoever you're going to submit to must be someone. Said even in marriage, when you want to be someone to do marriage counseling for you, is someone that is successful in marriage and has your interest at hand. You know, you understand that context. So it's the same for every facet of your life, whether it's your finances, whether it's your personal development, your business, your growth, in your relationship, your communication, ahead of you, but have your interest at hand. This is a very key point I want you to write down. The person must have your interest at hand. All right. Now, just before we begin to gain insight and gain bearing into some of the deeps I'm going to show you now, I will, I will be showing you how to unlock the possibilities of your mentor, okay? So it's not about submitting to someone that will be willing to teach you or guide you. Um, um, it's also very important that you know how to hack into their possibilities and replicate their kind of results and even at good them. Mentors are people who are willing that, okay, my mentee should be able to do better than me. My dad is so proud of me because he wants me to do better than him and he's doing, adding every support on that. See that his son is doing well. My mentors, all, everybody, all my mentors are supportive. They want to see me grow. They want to see me even do way better than they are doing. These are the kind of people you need to submit to, you know. I, I want to show you how to get their kind of result. But before I do that, I want to talk about role models. So, there is this thing about a mentor and a role model. A mentor and a role model. So role models are people that, that have amazing results you want to learn a couple of things from. Maybe they are even distance from you. There might not be people that are close to you. There might not be people that you have access to. I mean, mentors are people, whoever you call a mentor should be someone you have access to. Someone that you don't have access to you should be tagged as a mentor. Tag them as your role model. People that have, so for example, um, Russell Bronson is my role model when it comes to sales funnel. I started learning from him since 20, 20, 2018, 2019. Started reading his books and watching his videos and trainings since then. All right, so I, I, he doesn't even know my name, probably. And I've, I've not had the physical contact with him. I hope I will one day. 
but he's my role model in the funnel industry. I learn from him. I may not even know his personal beliefs in terms of religion, spiritual belief, and all of those stuff. I know some of it anyway, but I may not even know where he is, where he goes. All of the, it really doesn't matter to me. But because he has a result in an industry that I'm operating on, then he is my role model. So as far as phonies are concerned, I can learn from Russell Bronson. All right? Uh, as far as XYZ is concerned, I can learn from this. Marketing, Facebook. Uh, they are successful businesses in this industry. They are your role models. So these are different, this is a different bunk. People who you are learning from are not necessarily your mentors. Remember what I told you that mentors are to give you four things from the Latin and from the Greek, we coin them together. Remember, right? Okay. Now, so I want you to have this disparity. Don't mix them up. Don't everybody are learning from is not your mentor. Sometimes you want to go on YouTube and watch people, amazing people that are doing amazing things and beautiful things. Those people are just your role models. They are your role models. Okay? So let, let's talk about um, uh, this part, how to replicate or achieve bigger results. The kind of results your mentors have or bigger results than they have. But you have to do what they have done. Get their results before you start talking about getting, going beyond where they've gone to. Mentors will always want their mentees to scale higher than them. That's fact. All right? So how do you do that? And I'm going to share this by sharing an experience with you guys. So whenever I have a mentor, whenever, I mean, there are ways I have, this is not personal experience I'm sharing. There are, there are basically um, ways that I've used to spot mentors. I have other mentors in different areas of my life um, who play different roles. But for, as far as my life is concerned, I'm also very careful with people that I submit to and, and I associate with because these things are very important. All right? Now, when I got in contact with one of my mentors here, yeah, um, Chris Ani, who has built an amazing track record of building businesses by himself from scratch up. When I came in contact with him, um, the first time I came in contact with him was on Facebook. I think John Obidi of Hair South Africa mentioned his name one time and talked about there's a guy, Chris Ali, he does crypto and all of those stuff. He just mentioned the time at the time. I was like, okay, I checked him out on Facebook and I was like, okay, this guy, this man, you know. I think I sent him a fair request, which he didn't even accept at the time. But I just saw his profile, I was like, okay, yeah, okay. And then moving forward, the year back, I was just going through his content. And because I was following him, I sent him a friend request. I didn't, I, at the time, he didn't even accept my friend request. But, and I began to study his work. So I used the opportunity to start looking at some of the things he does on Facebook. I mean, I was actively on Facebook at the time. And then one day I stumbled upon his link. He shared a link and that he was doing a webinar. So the webinar came out. I think I've shared the story some time ago, and I keyed into the webinar. Now I want to show you, show you, tell you what exactly what happened. I joined the webinar and I listened to him speak. That was my first time hearing him talk. I watched him talk on a Zoom call. It was a Zoom call. He usually does a lot of Zoom calls that time. I think this is 2018, 19, or what is it? I watched him on a Zoom call. He was speaking. I said, ah, "Who is this guy?" I've listened to a lot of people on the internet at the time, because then I was trying to make inquiries and discover a lot of things. I had a lot of questions. I had a lot of stuff. To, I needed people who have the kind of drive, spirit, and who are moving in the same frequency. I call it frequency, actually, but probably that's a part that might not be able to communicate with you guys this night. So there's this about resonance and uh, how you connect with people. It clicks. Is sometimes I would have said it's spiritual, but so that we don't go into that area. But it clicks. You just know ah, this person has something that looks like what you have inside. It, it looks like magnetic pull. Yeah, do you get? I said, like, who is this person? <laughs> you know, and that was how the journey started from. And then we began to talk. And however, look at where we are today. Now that that is just it on on on, on that note. But I want to tell you that one of the ways you can hack into the possibilities of your mentors is by number one, studying their work. You don't just say, I have a mentor, when you're not willing to sit down and study their work. I have people that, that I, I mentor as well. I have mentees. Um, 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 you can't just say, Joshua is my mentor, he's my mentor, he's my mentor, and you're not willing to study my works. You're not studying the things I'm doing. You're not studying my track records. You're not studying my pattern of operation. You're not studying my doings, in quotes. 
You know, you're not studying the things I'm doing. So how would you want to get my kind of results? Why would you want to even call me a mentor? So for you to have even submitted to someone and say, okay, I want, I want to learn from this person. I want him to advise me. I want him to guide me through this part of my life. Through business. It might be through business. It might be through finance. It might be through communication. You might have a mentor that will just, his role is just to mentor you in communication, in building relationship. Right? And you're not studying their work. So what I do, then even I do this even for my role models. I go on YouTube. I, anywhere they have content, I stay on it back to back. And let me tell you one thing that happens to you when you stay on people's uh, materials and study people's records is that you begin to tap into their possibilities by staying on their track record, results, studying it. And I'm going to tell you what happens. Now listen to this. There is, a, a, there, is a, there is this thing about, I'm looking for a best way to put this thing to the audience, like for everybody, so that whether you are this level or that level, you understand what I'm about to say now. There are things in life that are assessed based on sacrifice. When I mean sacrifice is that it might be studying all night, it might be, it might be devoting three weeks of your time and removing every form of social life and just studying a particular concept. These things we do, let's say you are spending six hours every day studying one thing. That thing you do is not just you struggling and putting effort to study. It's actually a sacrifice you are paying. So I discovered this truth. Hold on now. I'm going to show you the truth. I discovered this thing that the way that the organogram of existence was created, it always would respond to people, respond to people who have paid a price for a particular thing. And paying prices, I can pay price with your time, your resources, and your efforts. You can pay a sacrifice with your time. So when I pick up a video of a mentor and I'm watching it back to back, is a sacrifice I'm paying with my time. It's a sacrifice I'm paying with my internet data. That thing accumulates. This is whether, whether you, you, are a, you are a native doctor, you are whatever you are, you're a Christian, you're a bishop. This is the law of life. It accumulates. And what you begin to understand is that by the time you spend time, that is why, hold on now. That is why people that spend time watching pornographic content, the more they stay at it, the more the possibilities of what they watch come into them. This is works whether good or bad. If you spend your time watching a video of a man, the possibilities of a man begin to drop into you. And you, let me tell you how it happens. It doesn't happen that the money he has, you now have it overnight. No, it doesn't happen like that. It means that his experiences, his visions, his revelations, his insights will begin to happen in and through your life. This you don't need to pray about. Fact, I'm giving you the honest truth. Take for example now, you want to model or you want to learn and submit to the leadership of someone. It might be as a mentor, it might be as a role model. You see, Loki. Okay. Now, take up their material, their books. Study their books. Devote a month, 30 days. Study their books, study their materials. Every day, watch their video for one hour. Read their book for one hour. Every day, 30 days. Do it, do it, do it, do it. I was listening to a man called Bishop David Oyedepo, one of the great fathers uh, we have a, in our country, in, in the Christian body. He said that he was reading a book of, called the Acts of the Apostles. He was studying a book called the Acts of the Apostles in the Bible. He said he read the book, in, I think within three days or five days, dry fasting. And by the time he came out, he experienced a power that happened. In that story, he said, when he came out and they told him to bless the food, he was just about blessing the food, just to bless the food for them to eat. And the power of God broke out. I've heard him say, share this testimony. And the truth is that the possibilities he was able to unlock was tied to him staying on the revelation of what happened in the book of Acts of the Apostles. He was able to tap into the possibilities of what happened when he, at the time the book of Acts happened, he wasn't even in existence. But he was able to tap into that possibility by the virtue of submitting to studying and learning studying and paying the sacrifice of staying on that truth. So when you want to get a man's result, you see a mentor you're submitting to, take their materials. If they have a course, buy their program. Most times they're not even buying their program because you just want to spend money. 
you are buying because you want to get in contact and jam the spirits they jammed or jam the possibilities they jam. Some of them, in the course of their journey, has paid a lot of price in learning, paid a lot of price in sacrificing their resources. Some people built businesses with their sweat and blood. Some of them had to hawk the streets to raise money to run their business today. And by the time you stay on their materials, their books, their interviews. Let me th there was a time I was studying a man. I I'm going to share this with you guys. I have a couple of role models I learned from people that I don't even have access to. I don't know them in close range. They don't even know my name probably. But I go on YouTube and I begin to study their materials. I'm going to give you a typical example with one of my role models, Russell Bronson. This is someone in my career path. I have role models for almost every area of my life. So in, in my career path as a sales funnel engineer, I have him as a major role model. When I heard about Russell Bronson the first time, the very first time, and I watched his video on YouTube, I said, who is this guy? I saw him, I said, what is it that this man has? I, I went to his website, to his phone, I said, what is this thing he's doing? And it took me three months. I went on YouTube as at that time. I could literally tell you, I could literally tell you, that every of his video that I could see on YouTube, I watched all of them. When I mean all, all of them, except the ones that probably YouTube did not show me. But I used every keyword I could use. Russell Brown said, funniest, funniest, click funniest. And I was, I, I, Jesus, I, I stayed on his material. 2018, 2019, 2020, I, in 2020, I, I shared this the other time in one of the sessions I had in an interview. In 2020, between March, April, May, June, I was doing, then I was actually still doing e-commerce business. I was actively in the e-commerce industry. As at the time of that video, I was, as at the time of that, before that time, I had never done a millionaire in sales in a month. Never. Straight up in one million straight, straight in a month. Never. But after I finished staying on, on Russell Bronson's materials, I studied his work back to back. How do I build funnels? Upset. And I, I said, what? I can be doing e-commerce in Nigeria and still be setting up sales. So I, I woke up one day, I said, I'm gonna do this. I had a partner friend, as at the time, we took up a product. I said, don't worry, handle all of the logistics, handle all of the products, leave the funnels for me. I went back to my, my room at the time, and I sat down. I took everything I've learned from, I, I, then I, I used to sketch on paper. I learned sketching on paper from Rose Bronze, actually. I don't know, I became so mad with funnels. I'm, I became so wild with it, actually, because it was all over me. I could draw on paper, I'm sketching here and there, doing all of those crazy stuff. And I said, okay, I'm going to build this funnel. I bought a piece of white plain sheets. I say I have white plain sheets every day of my life. Even my bag right now, I have plain sheets. I move around with plain sheets. I'm already accustomed to it. Pick up a paper and begin to sketch stuff. Once it comes, I begin to sketch. And I said, what? I'm going to build this. I built a funnel. That funnel, the first month, first month, we did 3 million in sales. 3 million. Never have I done that before. But I was able to tap into that possibility by staying on his materials. On his materials. You can hack into the possibilities of your mentor by staying on their materials. Read their books. Study them. The host conferences, attend it. The host seminars, attend it. They have videos on YouTube, attend it. When I started up newly, then when I met Chris and I will go on, on every of his Zoom classes. After they finish, they'll upload it. I'll go back and I'll, I'll be watching it. And you, if you see Mr. Chris teach, you'll be like, what is driving this guy? <laughs> and at that time, he was, still, he was not married. And he, I mean, at the time, he didn't have a lot of other responsibilities. So if, if you see him on stage crazy, now he's still boiling crazy with energy, you know. But now he's a father. And of course, he has to give attention to some very, very heavy matters of family and his, his, his child, actually. Now, but then, I said, what is driving this man? I want to be, I said, why is it, who is this guy? I was saying, who is this guy? Who is, where is he from? What is driving him? That was what really like, caught me to Chris at the time. I was like, whatever that is driving this man, I need to know it, I need to learn it. You stay on it. This is a simple truth. Simple truth for you to be able to hack into the possibilities of your mentors. You stay on your materials and you execute. You don't just go and learn and you now fold your hands. I was wild with execution. I said, go wild with execution. I will learn, I will go. I said, what did he do? Okay, he built the funnel like this. He did it like this. I'm going to replicate the funnel. 
I watched him talk. I watched Christian talk a lot of time. I said, ah, what is, why is he talking like this? I said, okay. So this is what he's doing. He will not give an exam. I said, okay. That he did this when he went to this place. I said, okay, this is what he did there. I said, okay, I, I will note it. <laughs> I will note it down. I will note it down. And that's how it works. I have mentees. So currently now, the, first of all, I'm going to say this because there are questions I've heard about mentorship. And people are like, should I, must I pay my mentor? Should I pay, should I pay him to teach me? Should I pay him to do that? So, I mean, I have paid programs. I have paid mentorship programs and I charge a couple of dollars for it. And I have people that sign up for that, actually. And aside that part, there, there are functional things you need to know about mentorship. Right now in the world, I can tell you who are there. There's nobody who is idle and is waiting for who will come and say, okay, mentor me. And they'll live their whole life Leave everything they have to do, and their goal is just to be mentoring you. Come on, man. Come on. That, that's not true. These are people that have businesses. They have things they are doing. And you need to buy into their time in supplication and honor. Buy into their products. Buy into their time. If possible, say, sir, even if the person says, okay, I don't want to get money. I don't want to collect your money. I know this person is not even, whether you pay him or not pay him, it doesn't. Honor them. You can get a man's result by honor. By honor, by honor, by honor, by honor, honor them. I learned this thing from one of the great, great men. Um, I, I don't want to call some names here. And he said, stay on their materials, honor them, and talk about them. I was still in campus. The guy that told me this was my fellowship president. His name is Francis. Francis, Francis, Francis. He was my fellowship president at the time. And he told me, Joshua, you want to get people's results? Honor them. Talk about their, their results. And then stay on their process. Learn what they are doing. Learn what they are doing. He told me these three things. I will never forget that. I said, what? Study their work. Talk about their work. And honor them. And I said, ooh, I found the key. This truth I'm telling you is what you need to activate. Massive possibilities. This thing works. Whether you, you believe it or you don't believe it, it works. You don't even need to believe it for it to work. You need to apply it for it to work. The ministry of mentorship has always been like that. Submitting yourself to authorities above you and they will pick you up and go up. I'm going to end on this note. I'm sure this night has been super powerful. I'm going to do two things before we end this night. Two very strategic things I'm going to do this night. But I'm sure this night has been so powerful for you. I've been able to pick out a lot of things. I've been able to establish so much insight. When I say so much, I mean so much insight into this revelation and the ministry of mentorship. But we'll like you and I will enjoy you to please like this video. After this live stream, copy the link of this video. Share it with people around. Excuse me. There are people that want to learn these things. There are people that need to know these things. There are people that are at the face of your life, they're asking a lot of questions. I fail to ask you guys. One of the, how, how, how I was talking about Russell Brunson was where I was asking questions of how are people making sales? People are making sales. And people, someone say funny. I said, what is funny? And one day I think it was on Facebook, someone just mentioned Russell Bro. I said, what? Russell, there's a guy, Russell Brunson, say funny else? I said, leave it, let me go and do my research. <laughs> I went online, YouTube. Rose Bronze, Fonia, Rose Bronze, Fonia, Google everywhere. I was pulling his materials. I, and I, at some point, I started seeing his ads. I said, ah, I joined his phone so much that any ad he starts, within a few days of him starting the ads, I will see the ads. I was so deep into his phone, his pages, his website, everything. Recently, just a few days ago, I mean, yesterday I was building a phone on Click Funnels, which is one of his softwares. Great man. These are things that people need to learn. So I encourage you to share this with people after this live stream. But before we go, I want to tell you two things that you must take home. Don't forget, don't forget that the ministry of mentorship is already crafted and embedded in the ordination of our existence. That means that it is an integral part of good. Having mentors and role models. And before we begin to end this live stream, Currently now, um, Chris and he has a mentorship program. It's called Daba 5000. And from some of the things I've been able to pick um, about the program, is quite an interesting club. Uh, the plans ahead for the club is massive. 
are these opportunities you get to learn from him from time to time, um, learn from amazing people he has also trained. These things are very key. Submitting to people, learning from behind the scenes. They tell you what they, there are some things, there's some things you don't hear me talk about publicly that only share behind the scene. There are people that get to know it. I'll give you an example. This is how mentorship works. You get to a point where a mentee can call you. Hello. This is a problem. This is this. I need to cancel. It's okay. Do this, do this. Um, this is a problem. Okay. This is, how to, this is how to address it. This is how I, I went through this part. And this is how you can come out of it. These people don't tell you this thing to the public. Their information reserves the selected few. All right, but there's this program called the Daba 5000 program. I would like you to be part of that program. That program is going to help you meet a lot of amazing people. There's a community for it. I mean, there's a beautiful community around the Daba 5000 club. And they're going to flip this to something massive from the information I got. It's going to be one beautiful club and community. Um, so the, the link will be on the, on the screen. I think Daba 5000, www.daba.school slash Daba 5000. Uh, probably also on the, on the description of this video. I want you to get connected with that program and be part of it. Learn from amazing people, join the community, learn from quiz. I think it's a one year program subscription you pay and it's a one year subscription based program. Um, um, you could be part of that. It's gonna be so powerfully um, amazing for you. You're gonna learn a lot of things in terms of business, entrepreneurship, um, growth system, um, skills that will help you make money also on the internet. But before we just end this night, I'm gonna make a prayer for you guys. Um, I'm going to make a prayer for you. For you. Um, I, I felt this so strong when I was preparing for this live stream. Um, I felt like, okay, I'm going to do this. And actually, the first time I heard, I saw someone pray on the internet when he was teaching um, sales. He was talking about making money online and business. And I heard him pray. It was Chris and he was the first person ever I saw him on the internet. And the first time I was in his live stream and he prayed, I was like, so people actually pray in live stream. And I was like, oh, yeah. And ever since then, I bring my live streams also. And it's what I learned from him, all right? So things you learn from people. I felt, and I've seen the results. Yes, there was some, somebody that came to a live stream like this. And after teaching and I prayed, the, that night, the person had an, an experience in, in, in her dream. The next morning, she executed. The next day, results are coming in. I always say people that life is spiritual. Life is spiritual. The greatest of all have something tied to their spiritual life. So, but I believe in God, and I'm sure you do also. I'm going to pray this night, and I'm going to pray for you strategically. I know that the place of mentorship plays a major role. And most times you notice that you have been at the stage of your life. If you're in any stage of your life right now, we are, we are revolving. You are within a spot. You are not seeing massive growth. You are just you, every day now, yesterday. You are just there, revolving within the same kind of result. There is a need for a mentor. Now, my prayer for you is that I'm going to pray for you strategically this night that God will open you up to insight and revelation to people he has delegated for your life. There are people that are meant for your life, actually. There are people that have been assigned to you by God. There are people that maybe you come in contact with them. You might not, you just, it might just be just two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. Things begin to open up. You don't, they don't need to be the ones who give you money. You just, just by the contact with such people, begin to see massive results. And I want to pray for you that God will begin to open you up to those possibilities and that God will guide you through the paths of life because you need counsel, you need guidance. Our ultimate mentor is God. Our ultimate cover, protector is God. Our ultimate guidian, teacher of all things is God. The Holy Spirit teaches us all things. I'm going to pray for you guys. Wherever you're watching this live stream from, whether you're in Nigeria, any part of Africa, any part of Europe, United States of America, I want you to key into this prayer. We're going to pray shortly. And I'm sure that from today, you begin to see massive results in your life, in your finances, in your growth system, and in your marriage. Time will fail us to share a lot more. There's a lot of things to share I mean, this live stream this night. But I want you to take hold of this information we shared. Hold on to it. Apply it in your life. Execute. You're going to see results. You will see results. I know it, and I'm sure about it. And wherever you are, just put your hand on your chest. And I want to pray for you right now. Everybody, Father, Lord, God Almighty, everyone who is watching this live stream across the world, who have joined us this night in the World Creation Series, you, oh God, know where they are in life right now, in the phase of life. You also know 
where they need to be now and in the future. I pray that you connect them to the right people who they'll need to come in contact with that will be responsible to lift them to where they need to be. God, show them, guide them, and give them grace to discipline themselves to submit, to counsel, teachings, uh, uh, guidance that will lead them to where they need to be. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I'm sure you enjoyed this nice section, and I'm super excited that you stay to the end of this live stream. There are people that need to hear this truth. There are people that need to know about the Word Creation series. Do wait well to subscribe to Daba TV and join us again next Sunday by 8 p.m. where you get to learn more uh, about wealth creation. We'll be talking about different topics. Um, 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 the CEO of Daba, Chris, and he would, of course, who has, all, he has done a lot of series in this uh, web creation series, and he will, of course, be coming again to share with you. Don't miss the next one. Share this link to people. Let a lot of persons watch it. Share it to your children. If you're a parent, give it to your children. Let them learn this truth. If I have children, I will give them too. Everybody, you have people around you on your Facebook. Copy it, put it on your WhatsApp status and tell people, hey, go and watch this video. I think it's going to bless their life. I know it will bless their life. And I'm sure it has blessed your life. And I don't want you to just carry this information and go alone. Share it with people around and God himself will bless you. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful night dress. And I know that this new week will be glorious for you. See you next time. Goodbye. You have a laptop, you have a phone, but you're not making money on the internet. It is wrong. If you're not making money on the internet and you're not making money while you're watching this, I want to show you a platform that teaches you how to make money. Every Sunday, I teach people how to create wealth on the internet. I teach people how they can start making raw cash, physical money, how they can make money on the internet, how they can even become financially free. Self-esteem. And there are people who have achieved more success than you and all for free. I do this every Sunday, 8 p.m. West African time, live on Daba TV YouTube channel. What should you do right now? Click the link, subscribe to Daba TV YouTube channel, turn on notification, and on Sunday, you will see me teach different things, laws of money, wealth creation, financial freedom, and, and things that will even inspire you to become successful. I want to see you this Sunday by 8 p.m. Chris, and right here. God bless you.